In this video, I want to go over an effect called the night vision effect. Now, as you can see, the effect is already applied right here, and I want to show you where to find it, how to apply it, and what you can actually do with this effect. Now, yes, this effect is very like custom. It's only used for like certain uh, situations, but if you're one of those people who want this really cool effect, this is the video for you. So let's head over to the effects panel right here, and let's just uncheck the effect called night vision. Now what you want to do is you want to head over here to the effects panel, go ahead and click on all. Once you're in all, you want to head down to the search bar and obviously type in night vision. As you can see, the effect is right here. So what you want to do is you want to take the effect and drag it on to the timeline right there. Now as you can see, I already have the first one right here, but this is the one we want to mess with. So, like I said before, you want to head over to the effects panel. Once you're in the effects panel, now you can start messing with a whole bunch of different effects. I'm going to go through all the different like settings for this effect. And at the end of the day, it's your uh, personal opinion, so you can customize it however you like. But I just want to show you the different effects it offers. So let's head over to the amount. As you can see, the night vision effect is completely gone. And the more you increase it, the more and more you see this uh, night vision effect. Now, you can head over uh, to scopes. You can use binoculars. There is a circle effect. And then there is an eclipse effect. The most common one is probably uh, just binoculars. Now, you can also adjust the grain. That obviously adjusts the grain. Most likely you don't ever want this effect. Um, most likely just grain just looks really ugly. Again, it depends on the look you're going for. Now you can mess with the light. I would probably keep it in the middle or go a little bit past the middle. That just looks uh, really ugly. So, now you can also, you can just increase the light, but you can also increase the size. As you can see, you can get really pinpoint. You could also move it wherever you want. I'll just command Z to reset it. So you can move it if you want. Or you can increase the size of pretty much the entire video has that night vision effect. Command Z to undo it. And let's bring, I think it was, yeah, somewhere around here back to normal. You can also mess with this. Not quite sure uh, why you would use this. You can also mess with the binocular offset. As you can see, that looks more normal and that's just like a, a circle. But at the end of the day, as a personal preference, you can change the amount can change it to a circle you can change it to an eclipse most likely you want to just go back to binoculars increase the grain increase the light how bright you want it you can also mess with uh, the size mess with this which is I'm not sure why you would and you can mess with the binocular offset and you can also just click on the effect click make sure you're clicked on the video and there you go you can move it to wherever you want, and at the end of the day, it's all up to you. The, cust the customization of where you want it is all a personal preference, so it's all up to you where you want it. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro tutorials every single day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.